has come here, then she has not come alone. Of course, Apprentice. The Huntress is with the Exile. She has a special talent for finding that which should remain lost. It also makes her difficult for me to sense, but not to a creature bred for such things. Shall I send the assassins for her? No, I have brought a beast to Malachor to deal with that one. If she survives, she will become stronger for it. Well, here's a surprise. Yet another slice of galactic paradise. Why can't we ever go to Alderaan or Ithor or some place without metal, jagged rocks, or packs of bloodthirsty beasts?
Honhar, oh, you have to be kidding me. Thank <laughs> you.
watching this, and what the general suspected was true. The Sith are striking the Navy Yard on Manacor 5. The ship the Sith Lord was on was one of the vessels damaged in that final battle. If you reach Malakor's surface, the mass shadow generator can be undone, provided there are enough vessels intact within the orbiting debris or buried in the planet's surface. Use a sequence I am unlocking in your memory banks on the engine core of any vessel you encounter on Malakor. If my calculations are correct, four vessels should be enough to power up the mass shadow generator and undo the damage that was done in Malakor 5, the damage I did. Once the sequence has begun, it cannot be stopped. So make sure the General is off the planet before triggering the sequence. Otherwise, there will be no retreat. I know your weapons systems are minimal, and I don't know what awaits you on Malakor's surface. Try to avoid contact with any potential threats. Follow your programming.
When the Exile enters the Treyas Academy, she will be faced with a choice. Show her every respect when she arrives in these halls, Lord Sion. This I command you. Thank <laughs> you. 
You should not have come to Malakor. She will break you, your mind, 
Your body, you will be lost. Return to the surface. Let the planet claim you, as it claimed the other Jedi. There is no reason for you to suffer at her hands. You and her are alike, yet different in all the ways that matter. And I hate you as I hate her. I hate you because you crawl within my head as she does. But your presence holds no thoughts, no teachings. You are just... there. Unspoken. I hate you because you are beautiful to me. And in that weakness lies death. Perhaps in that weakness is the death of my master as well. What it has always been, her weakness is you. Then turn from this place. Do not go to her. Preserve yourself. You are strong. I cannot see as she does. But I know that in time, you shall surpass her power. But not here. Not in this place. I cannot. If you pass, you shall not return as you are now. Return to Malachor, or go through me. There is no middle ground. It is not mercy. What awaits you will weaken you. She will break you, as she did me. And you will no longer know yourself. I fear no one, for while the Force is with me, I yet live. I cannot. If you pass, you shall not return as you are now. Return to Malachor. I am ready for you, Exile. I have waited years to see the last of the Jedi fall before me, to join the rest that lie buried within this planet's core. The end of the Jedi is at hand. the true power of the dark side. As long as the dark places of this world flow through the cracks of my flesh, I cannot be killed. you cannot defeat me. Surrender now. Return to the surface of Malachor. Do not force me to destroy you. Should you die, then she will have no choice but to accept me at her side. My training shall be complete, as was intended. You intend to make me doubt her, doubt myself. This is not a battle of words, Exile. It is one of blood. <laughs> If I 
die here, and you will have sealed your fate. No, it is you that she has marked for death, for suffering. I, I still have the power to stop you. The Force runs strong through the screaming canyons of Malachor. I can die a hundred times exile and still I will rise again as strong as before. Defeat me! Defeat me here! It is not possible to walk away from such things unscarred. To keep living when the universe dies around you. The Force is who I am. The dark side fills me. It is what I am. Kreia, she will try to break you, to teach you how far someone can fall. Her weakness is you, as you are mine. I am glad to leave this place at last. Last you have arrived is Malakor as you remember. Indeed, perhaps it is merely your perceptions of me that have changed. It is strange that you believe Malakor has not, but it has always been timeless to you this place, and words have always been inadequate for the horrors that took place here. More talk of machines and threats. If you would end Malakor, then do it. But it will not be a victory for you. And of course you must be willing to die. To kill us all. And your friends. You may hold Malakor in your grasp. But I hold the answers to your past and future in mine. Would you destroy us both before learning them? If so, then do it. For you have already failed me. I never destroyed Atris. She had destroyed herself. 
I merely stripped away the illusion and brought her truth. Her teachings could not be allowed to continue, and like Malachor, she was part of your past, unresolved. She needed to be something you could confront and defeat one last time. It was part of your training, part of what was needed to make you complete. And there must always be a Darth Traer. The galaxy needs its betrayers, especially in the times to come. She loved you, you know, as one loves a champion. You were all that she could not be. Yes, it is all that is left unsaid upon which tragedies are built. More echoes traveling through the Force. It is said that the Force has a will. It has a destiny for us all. I wield it, but it uses us all, and that is abhorrent to me, because I hate the Force. I hate that it seems to have a will, that it would control us to achieve some measure of balance when countless lives are lost. But in you, I see the potential to see the Force die, to turn away from its will, and that is what pleases me. You are beautiful to me, Exile. A dead spot in the Force, an emptiness in which its will might be denied. I use it as I would use a poison, and in the hopes of understanding it, I will learn the way to kill it. But perhaps these are the excuses of an old woman who has grown to rely on a thing she despises. Yes, always. From the moment you awoke, I have used you. I have used you so that you might become strong, stronger than I. And I used you to make those who wounded me reveal themselves so they could be killed by the Republic. I used you to keep the Lords of the Sith from condemning the galaxy to death with their power unchecked. I used you to lure them to Telos, where they could be at last fought and killed. I used you to reveal Atrus's corruption so that her teaching could be ended before it began. I used you to gather the Jedi so they could be destroyed. And I used you to make those who wounded me reveal themselves so they could be killed by the Republic. The Apprentice must kill the Master. If you do not, I will kill you. If I do not, then all you have achieved will be as nothing, as empty and as violent as Malachor itself. Then you will break, and then, my apprentice, you shall die. I have thought of this moment more than you know. And I wondered if here, at this ending between us, if you would care enough to try to save me. If a Jedi could find it within themselves to spare one who has fallen so far. I wanted you to say those words. For that I am grateful. But I do not want your mercy. I want you to break. If you do not kill me, I shall end you. Strike me down. End this. Show me mercy. I will see you break before you do.
if you rewarded me more than you can possibly know. Save me. You already have. It is enough what you have done from now into the future. It is your choice. I had hoped you would follow Revan's path, but you and Revan are different and your path is your own. You may take one of the ships that orbit Malachor and depart this place, or you may remain here on Malachor and wait for the others, those touched by the Force, who will come in time. Or you may return to your exile, where your presence will no longer affect the actions of others. There is no dishonor in any of these choices. I only ask that you make the choice without regret. Many things do I see as I gaze here from the heart of Malachor. This place channels such energies. If it matters to you at this last moment, I shall look into the future and tell you of what I see. It is my last gift to you, from one exile to another. You travel with them for so long. Yet you do not know them still. Feel them through the Force, feel what they feel, hear their thoughts and know them as I fought to know you. They were the lost Jedi, you know, the true Jedi upon which the future will be built. They simply needed a leader and a teacher. She will stop hunting life and instead live it. She was not born to be a predator, despite her true father and the life she led within the shadow of Narshadar. She will miss you and think of you often. You who awakened her to what life is. She will live, but only for a time. Her death will occur in many years' time on a forgotten planet, saving the lives of others. But it will be her choice and she will have no regrets. Many battles does that one have left in him, as Revan intended. A general needs an army as he needs those he trusts. And Candorus is a loyal beast, no matter how much he is broken upon Revan's will. But you know this. They will die a death that will last millennia, until all that remains is their code, their history, and in the end, the shell of their armor upon the shell of a man too easily slain by Jedi. The blinded one shall return to her home world, and she shall look upon the surface of that world, and perhaps at last see what she was meant to see. 
Her life has been changed by your meeting in ways that may not be felt for decades to come. Salvation is a relative thing, but as you understand it, yes. He cannot help but love you in his way. It is a pure, ideal love he holds, yet somehow it never dulls in your presence or through your actions. If he leaves this place, he will leave the galaxy behind him. He will sit upon the new council, reluctantly as all good men do, and he will not forget the Jedi who had lost the Force, yet showed him the way to reclaim it. After that I do not know. I do know that you must leave him behind, the same choice that Revan made. Where you are destined, you must not take anyone you love. And of the ones who traveled with you, that is all I see. Atten is, as always, the fool. And the Force watches out for one such as him, I feel, as it does for the old such as I. He is a fool, and that should answer all your questions. He has nothing to offer one such as you. And even a fool such as Atten is not so ignorant of that fact. The Republic will fall, as it always has. A fall that will take millennia under the care of the herds of Ithor. The surface of Telos will bloom again, and its golden fields shall again harbor scientists and thinkers. And complacent and peaceful, it shall forget the time that Saul Karath orbited it and brought fire to its skies. But it shall be a home world again to others who will stretch out across the galaxy and bring life. Dantooine shall survive. The community you saved shall be the foundation upon which Dantooine shall be habitable again. They shall drive back the raiders, the Mandalorians, and all that strike at the outer rim. The Republic shall again establish their presence there and shield it with its forces. And Dantooine shall heal, be safe, and its skies free. The ruins of the Academy shall remain. Nar Shaddaa shall persist as it always has, but there will be a heart to the world where there was nothing before, where once the lost and disposed were trapped there. Now they will struggle and grow. From despair shall come hope. Queen Talia shall have a long reign. Much good will come of it. She will, as she has, rule wisely and well. Onderon shall remain in the Republic, and the world shall prosper, though its people shall, over time, lose their customs in the ocean of the Republic and become the people of Onderon no longer. Korriban shall be as it always was, a graveyard for the darkest of the Sith Lords still whispering within their tombs. It shall always be a source of evil, spawning threats throughout the millennia, it, like Malachor, brushes the edges of the Empire that waits in the dark. And like Malachor, the Sith have forgotten it. For a time, they will remember. Revan knew this. Ah! <gasps> 